Yeah, so I'm gonna get uh, one chocolate, uh, two of the. What is going on outside? Oh, you gotta be. How, I can't even get a donut in peace. What is all this? What's what's the big what's the big commotion? Wow, you guys got, you guys got better shirts and y'all got haircuts and stuff like that. We're starting to get there, man. We just gotta get you guys different names. Uh, Bob, wh what's going on out here? Gray, a large squadron of helicopters has swarmed over the city. They say that we are dirty spoon leckers and they're going to bomb the city in search of our stashes of tropical water zero. What is it about this place that people just can't leave well enough alone? It's alright though. Uh, we've had a lot of people developing some brand new weapons to take care of stuff like this. Uh, we just got one of our new auto cannons and uh, go get go get Bob to, to go ahead and man that for us Lumberjack don't even don't even say it don't even say it. It's it's the same Bob as last time the one guy All right, the one guy really really poorly executed southern drawl. He's the only guy right now. That's not wearing a different shirt Okay, he's got my shirt on the red shirt. All right, just find him and throw him in the auto cannon He'll do fine. He can he can do the one button press. That's like That's like his god-given skill all right, Gray, I'm heading over now. What, what where am I going to? It, buddy, it, there's, there's like, there's like 12 helicopters in the sky. You can't miss it. Just, just go up near the helicopters, all right? And just press the button. All, all you have to do is press the button. Please don't blow that up. It's like 30 million brick bucks. All right, yep, you're doing good. You're doing, no, 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 don't go too far to the right. Do not go too far to the right. Yep, yep, point that cannon that way. There you go. Right about there. All right. Give them, give them their birthday present, Bob. Just all you have to do is just use your whole hand and just press the button. All right, Gray. They, oh, oh there, there's a second button next to the first button. Uh, just press them both. It'll be fine. All right. Here goes nothing. Bob, you're hitting the donut shop, Bob. Bob, you're, you're hitting the donut shop. You're killing the pedestrians, Bob. Let's go ahead and tilt that thing over to the right, buddy. Fantastic. Now you're back on track. X yep, keep doing that. Aim for the giant green things that are floating in the sky. This isn't that hard. Bob, you leveled the building. All right. That's that's coming out of the retirement fund, man. Let's Let's keep that to a minimum. All right, Bob, cool it. Go ahead. That, yep, yep. No more button pushing. Take your hand off the button. My hand's off the button, Greg. Go, okay, just just step out of the vehicle. Just get out of the vehicle. All right. Well, um, we did pretty good. Helicopters are down. Uh, how are you three doing? You three all right? <laughs> okay, good. All right, Bob, you did well. You did, you did real good, but, um, I just want to let you know their blood is on your hands. All right, so all of the, uh, all of the developers of firepower have been hard at work creating brand new items for us to defend the city with. But there is an item over here that's not just meant to be, like, firepower. It's meant to be Tim the Tool Man Taylor style power. So let's take a look at how well it does its job of cleaning up the streets. I consider this to be almost like either a debris sweeper uh, or something to take out land-based war vehicles. Now, I've got it up against a whole slew of just regular vehicles over here, the crash testers. See how well it does. All right, now, it should be incoming here in just a moment. Uh, depends on how straight I got it. Well, not too... Oh, maybe I need to drive that by hand. Oh! The flaming debris set one of the cars on fire. Not too bad. Uh, attempt number two. All right, old Gray's behind the wheel there. Now, we do have some flaming wreckage ahead of us, but I guess, I guess that makes this just that much more epic. Um, oh god. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slow things down momentarily. Oh, it's glorious! Oh, We're starting to fly through the air. Now, I know that the physics go all wonky whenever we start slowing things down. But, that's pretty slick. Uh, I imagine if we were to turn this thing into invincibility mode, 
it would probably penetrate all of the cars a lot better. Uh, but it didn't do that bad. All right, full speed, invincibility mode, a lot of debris in the way. Should be okay, though. <laughs> Just from the shrapnel, it's blowing stuff apart. All right, well, um, yeah, do some victory donuts. Never mind. Just kind of rest on your side. You deserve it. Well, uh, it did its... Luckily, all the vehicles are very, very flammable. It did its job, uh, well enough. It, it did its job well enough. It can definitely punch through what is going on here it can definitely punch through problems but uh we may need to check something out that that has a little bit more a little bit more forward firepower all right it wouldn't be a gray still plays episode without something completely excessive and thus we have the portable fog now i've messed with this a little bit and i can say that it is fairly ridiculous how ridiculous well let's just say for a moment that your city is being besieged by an unruly titan as often happens in Bricksville, Titans, as we all know, do not get enough fiber. That's why there is giant blockages inside of their intestinal tract. But don't worry, the portable fog is here to fix that. It's like, it's like a, a it's like a, a, a colon blow on wheels. So what you do is you just kind of aim her up here, right? I'm going to go ahead and slow things down because why not? And then you let her rip. Now, we have, we, we, initially we had the soap cannon. This is double soap basically so the amount of firepower that it puts out is completely and utterly ridiculous in normal speed i think that this thing can core through a titan in about four seconds but i just really wanted to see what kind of damage yep there we go you can see it's falling directly into the beams of sadness oh my god and the cannon saws through skin and bone. I say skin, whatever Titan flesh is made out of. Titan flesh and bone. Like it's not even there. This right here is our bricks bucks at work. And I can say that it has gone to a good cause. Now, if you'll notice here, uh, the upper body had gotten melted off so cleanly that the legs are still standing in their initial positions. That's hardcore. I know what you're asking. You're saying, sure, Gray, it could take out a, a Titan, but could it take out a gigantic snake that's bent on destroying the city? Uh, yeah, I think it'll probably do it. Let's check it out. Now, you always want to aim for the head of the snake because that's where all the juicy goo is. Let's see how well it does. Ready? Aim higher. Probably should have put the uh, parking brake on. Come on, there's the last few chunks left. Let's get this cleared out. Clear it out. There we go. So, um, okay, go ahead. Let's ca calm it down. Calm it down. There you go, buddy. Fantastic. Just, you, you sit right there so that we can, wow, a rib just hit the ground. I don't know how that got up so high. As you can see, uh, very, very good for destroying Rick Riggs glitch causing snakes very very important job so what about a gigantic jet plane looking for an impact with a with a sad broken defeated part of the populace i think we could probably take this down all right right overhead you can see the plane right there I'm trying to lift it up just so maybe right about right about here should do it begin the sad making mm. yes it's like the organs of the depressed. I, I, organs, I mean like, you know, like the piano style organs, not like the giblets. You know what I mean? Not like the intestines and stuff like that. I totally missed. All right, I'm lifting it up. I'm lifting it up and over to the side. I don't know if we're going to get a hit in on this thing. My, my shots are going ever. Oh, it looks good. Take that wing out, baby. Ta are you serious? Come on. Get it before it touches down. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The, oh no, my computer. Oh, 6,100 bricks are really sad right now. 6,100 bricks are really sad right now. Oh, the wing's peeling off. The wing's peeling off. I think that maybe we got it before it hit the residential area. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's gonna crash into our, it's gonna crash into our, our shot. Oh, we did it. I think we did it. We may have broken our gun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the gun broke. But hold on, let me turn this off before we end up doing more damage than we uh, than the plane causes. But look at that! 
We managed to saw the plane in half before it took down any of our Brick Riggsian, I don't know, I guess, residential apartment complexes, department stores. What? What is this? What is this? What is this? How is this still flying? No! <laughs> Come on. No! It wasn't my fault. How? Come on! Sure, any more explosions you got hidden up your sleeve? Why not, right? There's another building there for you. You want to go ahead and take that one down too? Okay, just just rest there. Rest. My son. Please, don't get back up. So, um, okay, listen. We did a good job, all right? This was unexpected collateral damage. That was not supposed to happen, okay? This, this is a, this is just a, a result of some brick rigs random explosions. Happens all the time. Okay, so I'm really curious if you can throw money at the problem and solve it. Supposedly, this vehicle has the ability to do just that. Now, for maximum ridiculousness, we're gonna have to slow things down. Now, I think that there's several potential money chunklets that you can shoot. There's one on the front. So here's our first stack of hundreds. <laughs> wow. I guess throwing money at the problem kind of works. It also sends the money mobile flying. All right, let's try it at full speed. All right, Donald Trump cannon, go. You know, I think it was it was, it was probably more powerful in slow-mo. How about from the side? Hoo-ya! Now, definitely better in slow-mo. All right, point blank money cannon, go. Little bit of damage, you know? $100 bills can do a little bit. It, it, they, they did more than I thought they would. All right, full slow motion. Yeah, full slow motion is the way to go if you're gonna throw money at the problem. That's definitely how this works. You can see a little bit of the grill maybe. Uh, a couple of pieces had gotten sheared off. But other than that, uh, if there's any bystanders, they're gonna be super happy because there is brick bucks just laying all over the place. We are literally making it rain. So uh, over here in the public restroom, None of the toilets are working. Uh, everything's backed up. It's all, it's all, this, this entire area needs to be turned into a brick Donald's. So we decided to hire a, a demolition team in order to take this down. And supposedly you get a lot of bang for your buck with this particular cannon. Now what you gotta do is just hold down on the button. When you do this, the conical rings of planet leveling sad times and end of days infernal freaking meme destroying will begin to spin sometimes clockwise sometimes counterclockwise. they do whatever they want really no one really tells them what to do they're like rebels basically and then what you do is when you're not busy writing your name on the ground you just kind of aim at uh, what it is you want to destroy so what we'll do is we'll get it right about lined up like this right here Okay, then you do a little bit of, uh, you do a little bit of this. And then you do a little bit of this. Then you kind of go out. Now all you have to watch is the arc. Now, if you're in the restroom, I feel bad for you. But you shouldn't have been because I'm pretty sure that we had some notices that the restroom was going down. I cannot believe how well the restroom took that hit. Oh, all the buildings are going down. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. I screwed that up. Random building fell. Not my... I guess it is my fault. Okay, uh, restroom destruction take two. Okay, let's go ahead and lower that down a little bit. Right about there. Right about there. Okay, now that we're online, uh, more than a, a quarter of a second of damage in the same place really seems to cause quite a... Oh, God. Quite a big boom. Every once in a while, you may accidentally light up all of the uh, easily ignitable fuel tanks in the background. But uh, yeah, for demolition purposes, I think this worked pretty well. Now, if you were to fire this and the fog at each other, what would happen? Okay, now it's going to be really tough to fire these two at exactly the same time. But I'm going to try my best. Here we go. All right. There goes the cannons. What happens when you cross the streams of the cannons, I wonder? Oh, no, I was arced too far down. Hold on. Let's uh let's let's try this one more time. Okay, this should do it. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Okay, they're impacting. Both sets of cannons are impacting. Oh no! 
Oh, I kind of went. Maybe it was because of where the fog hit or something like that. But did you just see it? It just got shredded. Um, let's 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 do best two out of three. All right, here we go. One more time. And actually, you know what? We'll start here this time. And open fire. All right. All the shots are going out. The cannons are starting to come into one another. Wow, it, it must, it's like that front paneling. Oh, now we're starting, it's starting to get a couple of shots in. But yeah, it got cored pretty good. Um, the fog got cored pretty good. There are some bits and pieces flying off over here. All right, calm, calm down, calm down. In a match, we also had the other weaponry. We can try those two together. All right. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give, uh, the challenger here the benefit of the doubt. They're gonna get first dibs on the shots. Here we go. All right, shots are coming out from both sides. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's starting to lift it up. After, after, the, like, the couple of hits there, the cannons all going catawonky and everything like that. I, uh, and we were actually even aimed a little bit low. But, yep, we, uh, we have a, we have a victor here. All right. So if ever there were a Congo line of type, how quickly would they fall if these two freaks of nature worked together? Here we go. Double the firepower, double the fun. Both guns plowing through their opponent. How quickly will they make it through the guts? of the very first Titan. You can already see some of the shots start to blow out the back. <laughs> Let's kind of uh, work our way over through the smoke over here. That is a very, very clean hole that we are blasting through the Titans. I'm actually kind of curious. Once we get done blowing these things apart, if there will be a perfect, like, circular incision through both of them, or if they'll begin to fall. Now over here, as you can see, it is totally okay to cross the streams when you're dealing with Titan. All right, all the rules go out the window when you're dealing with Titan. Let's go ahead and uh, speed things up over here. There we go. Now we're starting to blow out the back a little bit. Oh, it's starting to flail around. All right, hold on, hold on there, tiger. Let's go ahead and Calm, calm down, calm, oh, no, right there. Okay, very good. All right, let's look. Oh. You could legit fly a plane through here. That's how clean the cut is. And that's gonna be it for this episode of Brick Rigs, where the uh, Department of Defense has really been working overtime, dealing with all of the issues that uh, Bricksville has to, uh, has to cope with. Are the insurance rates finally going to go down? Is the life expectancy finally going to go up? I don't know. You're going to have to let me know in the comment section below. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, go ahead and use the like button to carve through the torso of a titan. I, I really, I don't know. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.